Welcome back to our channel. In today's video I will explain the difference between VPNs and incognito mode. VPNs and incognito mode are two of the most popular tools for online privacy. A VPN makes you harder to track while browsing, while incognito mode gives you a fresh browser that doesn't remember your history and cookies. Private browsing has a lot of names, including in private in Microsoft Edge, incognito mode in Google Chrome and private window in Firefox. Its purpose is to give your browser temporary amnesia. Whenever you're in incognito mode, the browser will not store the data of the sites you visited. No addresses, no cookies, none of the data you entered, nothing. For example, if you're logged into Facebook in your normal browser window, you can open an incognito mode window and Facebook won't see you as logged in while you browse with that window. When you browse in incognito mode, nothing you do in your browser will be remembered by your browser itself. Web pages you visit won't appear in your history or pop up in the recently visited tab. If you log into a website, all you have to do is close the window and your browser will forget you ever signed in. As you can see, I visited Amazon on incognito mode and my browser's history is still clean. However, this is all that private browsing can do. While none of your browsing data is stored on your computer, this doesn't mean that it's erased on the other end. Websites you visit can still see your IP address, your internet service provider can still see your activity, and system administrators at your workplace will still know what you were up to when you were supposed to be working. Incognito and other private browsing modes won't make you anonymous online. They will just make you anonymous to your own browser. This is where VPNs come in. When you connect to a VPN, it will connect to the internet using a private server, making it appear as though that server is accessing a website rather than you. In other words, websites you access won't see your real IP address. They'll see the VPN's IP address. This improves your overall privacy while browsing, with the added bonus that you can spoof your location to anywhere in the world where your VPN has servers. Websites will see you as browsing from the VPN server's region rather than your own physical location. This allows you to circumvent region restrictions on, for example, Netflix, or use online banking while on holiday. It's also a great way to bypass online censorship and tracking in repressive countries. All that makes VPNs popular among a wide range of users, including regular people who like their privacy, human rights activists who live under repressive regimes, and people who use torrents to download the latest movies, games and music. A VPN works by routing you through an encrypted connection called a secure tunnel. Your network administrator can see that you're connecting to an outside server, the VPNs, but not what websites you're connected to. This part of the process works like a charm, as tunnels generally use end-to-end -end encryption. However, using a VPN does not guarantee complete anonymity. While your connection is cloaked, if you remain signed into your social media or Google accounts, they can still track you. In other words, if you sign into Google and then connect to a VPN, Google still knows who you are. Browser cookies saved in your browser may also be used to track you. Here's the elephant in the room. The VPN service you're using can see every single thing you're doing while it's active. However, as part of their package, most VPNs promise to regularly delete their logs, the history of the connections any user has made. This is generally advertised as a no-logs policy, and on paper, it means that the VPN has no record of you or your doings. This means that it can't share your information with any third party. 
In practice, though, not all VPNs are created equal in this regard. For example, in 2017, PureVPN was able to help the FBI catch a cyberstalker because, while it didn't save user activity, it did save users' IP addresses. VPNs are a bit of a black box, as are the companies behind them, which can make it hard to figure out which VPN to choose. Generally, we advise that people read through the privacy policy and check up on the service a bit before signing on. You're placing a lot of trust in whatever VPN you choose, so do your research first. While VPNs and incognito mode may not share any functionality, they do work extremely well together. Many of the gaps in VPN security can be filled using incognito mode, while incognito's weaknesses are covered by VPNs. Using them together means that you're making it harder for third parties to track you while also protecting your privacy from anybody you share your computer with. For example, if you use incognito mode, you won't be signed into your Google or Facebook accounts, and any cookies you've gathered while browsing are also deleted. If you have your VPN running at the same time, the websites you connect to can't see your real IP address, and your internet service provider can't see which websites you're connecting to. This allows you to browse in relative anonymity, although you're still trusting the VPN provider. While neither VPNs nor incognito mode can guarantee complete privacy, using them together brings you a lot closer to it than just using one. So, which VPNs are you using? Did you know that running VPN and incognito mode at the same time is much safer? Let us know at the comments.